What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be decluttering and organizing a couple of messy areas in my apartment. I have literally been putting this off for the longest because if you guys have ever decluttered anything, then you know that it is a process and it can be very overwhelming. But last week, I just got my hands on those cabinets from Ikea that I've been waiting for months where I know I've mentioned it numerous times in videos and it's also going to give me the much needed storage that I need. But if you guys are ready for some decluttering, organizing, motivation, inspiration, giving you guys tips and tricks and all that good stuff, then you came to the right place. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right into the video. So here's a before clip of what our closet is looking like. It's literally supposed to be a closet for all of our coats and when guests come by, but over the months, I literally have accumulated so much stuff in here. I literally just started jam packing everything in. So before I can even start to organize everything, I'm starting off by removing everything from the closet so I can go into the living room and sort through everything, make different categories and see what I'm working with. Because honestly, at this point, I couldn't even tell you really what is even in here. So this is everything that was in the closet. I'm really surprised with how much like junk was able to fit in here. And as you can see, the box is a wrap um, for the Christmas tree, but I did purchase this heavy duty tree storage bag, which I think will be a better fit, take up less space in the closet. So I'm gonna try and fit it in there. And then there's a couple of things I do wanna organize and I'll show you guys the cabinet and how I plan on, you know, just like organizing all of this stuff and just making it look a lot neater and all of that. Um, so yeah, I am going to now just go through everything and figure out what I wanna keep, throw away, organize and all of that stuff so we can get the closet looking good and then the cabinets looking good as well. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it once I get this tree put into this storage bag I know I'm instantly going to save so much storage space in that closet because the box started to break so it was taking up even more and more space because the tree had fallen and at this point I was just too lazy to even deal with it so now that I have this storage bag I'm super excited that I can literally put everything in here and over the years once we get like wreaths and other stuff like that I definitely have enough room to put it in there as well then I'm gonna move on to everything else I know that there were a couple of like extra bags that I could put into our Christmas um, storage bin so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna see what items I can actually put into those new cabinets must pass but I'm not gonna wake up wake up I'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cuz I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. I had some extra storage bins that have been moving from room to room and I really haven't found any 
use for them just yet and I'm trying to figure out how I can incorporate them into the cabinet so I was able to contain all of my like power tools drills um, screwdrivers all of that stuff into one space because I don't really have a bag or anything like that so I put that in there and I'm trying to see what other bins that I can work with as well I am going to be using these cabinets like a linen closet where, you know, you have like some of your cleaning products, beauty products, like, you know, stuff for the bathroom and all of that stuff. So I ended up moving all of my laundry stuff over to here as well because it's right in front of the laundry closet. So it's going to be so much easier to access. This is what is left over from everything that was in the closet. So I do have um, these gloves and also the top of Riley's jacket here. So I'll probably put those away at the top of the closet. And I do need to hang that up into the bathroom because we have no storage space. So that should take all of our shower products, all of that kind of stuff up off the bottom of the tub. And then I do still have this one bin. I picked up some stuff for Easter for Riley. So I might end up putting that in the dress over there, which we hope to tackle later today. And then that is the trash bag of all the stuff. So I was able to get most of the stuff out organized, even just kind of like throwing away some things. This I do need to keep. It's Riley's like learning bag from school. They have to like bring little show and tell stuff every single week. So keep that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I got everything up and organized in those cabinets. Alright guys, so since we are doing some much needed decluttering and organizing of just your everyday household essentials, I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys of the items that I picked up on Farabee's website and they are also sponsoring this portion of the video. Farabee's website is basically a bunch of everyday household essentials. They have super quick shipping, like I purchased this on a Thursday and probably got it on a Saturday. Super quick giving you that Amazon Prime type of shipping. And also they have so many different items to choose from, from household essential items like cleaning, beauty products, hair care, like you name it. They have a bunch of different things on their website. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Make sure to go check them out, especially since you're not able to find a lot of things in the store, at least in New Jersey. A lot of the like shelves are like, non-existent at this point like you never know what you're going to get so at least having a website that sells those everyday essentials for you guys makes it super easy and then you also don't have to worry about the hustle and bustle of going into the store but i do want to show you guys everything that i picked up so one thing that i definitely needed i got this huge thing of toilet paper I am a Costco member but like it's so much easier to go and get it offline rather than dealing with the whole Costco like hustle and crowd and all of that stuff I also picked up some more paper towels and this is stuff that's going to last us for a really really long time um I wanted to try these mesh 
wash bags and these <coughs> are definitely going to come in handy i'm hoping that it will help us not lose like socks and also i'm able to put like my bras in there and not have to worry about them getting like tangled and mixed up with all of like the laundry so this is going to be perfect i will let you guys know what i think about these i also wanted to try the pink stuff everybody has been raving about it i have the paste i haven't really used that just yet but i'm very interested in the multi-purpose cleaner i have no idea that they even had that so it's street free sparkling clean tough on grease and grime so i am definitely hoping that this is going to be my holy girl product so i'm giving this a try the next thing i have is carpet stain remover we did unfortunately do some type of crap over there and there was a little bit of like um staining so I'm gonna give this a try like it has been on the carpet for a minute so we'll see if this is even gonna get it up the last item in this box is going to be the downy wrinkle guard fabric conditioner now I don't have a iron here I do have a steamer which I do have a steamer however I just want to see if I can do laundry and not have to worry about any wrinkles You're, you can buy in bulk on this website which is great This is a pack of three of Fabuloso and it's one of my favorite scents. It's the passion fruits, the one with apples and like just kind of like that nice like sweet scent. So I'm super excited about this. And then the last thing I got, I'm trying the Tide Pods. They're four in one downy um, pods and it comes with 88 of them. I'm starting to run out of the pods that I currently have. So I definitely needed to restock up on that. And thank you so much to Therapy for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will have a link down below where you guys can get 10% off using my coupon code NIA10. And you guys can grab whatever you want. Like I said, there's so many things on the website to choose from and you are also able to buy in bulk as you guys can see. Originally I had to put all of my cleaning products into one of those storage bins but it just felt like it was taking up a lot of space and now because I have all of these extra cleaning products from Therabi I decided that I should take that bin out and I was able to fit so many more things in the cabinet. So here is the finished look. As you guys can see, I put all of the toilet paper up at the top. Back in the corner are some just extra loofahs. I also have some masks here. Down here on this shelf, it's just kind of like a mix of stuff like paper towels and then all of my like Cricut stuff. At the bottom, I ended up um, putting the sheets and extra curtains. I do plan on putting those up in the dining area. However, I need to go back to Ikea to get some more of the hooks before I can hang those up. So that is actually going to end up being taken out. Also, all the way at the bottom, I have an extra shower curtain in there. So that's it for this cabinet. 
and then over here as you guys can see I switched things up a bit I ended up finding out or I ended up finding that with the bins it actually kind of restricted the amount of stuff I was able to get in here so at the bottom I have just all of those um, storage bins that are good for underneath the bed and then on this shelf is basically all of my cleaning stuff laundry and then up at the top is all of my like handy girl stuff stuff i use to put things together furniture all of that kind of stuff so i just put this up at the top so yeah i love the fact that i can just close this up nobody can see what's behind there and it just gives me all of that extra storage Now that I have the cabinets organized and most of the closet, I am gonna be heading over to my bedroom and I need to tackle another messy area in there. But I did also need to run out and purchase one more thing for the closet to add even more storage, which I will show you guys in just a bit. Okay guys, so this is what the closet looks like. Complete transformation. So at the bottom is where all of my Christmas decor is. The tree is still on the side. It is taking up half of the closet. However, it's just the two of us, so it's really not that big, that big of a deal. And then up at the top, I have some gloves, the top of one of her jackets. And then I also have this like cutter thing that I just didn't know where else to put. So I just put it up there. Our jackets are in here and then I actually ended up moving the shoes into this closet because we do have a little bit of space so my shoes on one side Riley's on the other and then deep in the corner is just gonna be that teal um, container I have actually some like secret toys hidden in there um, for Riley I like to kind of hide toys randomly so like if it's ever a rainy day or it's boring out or whatever just to make the day a little bit more fun, I will pop out like a toy or a craft or anything like that. So I have that stored in there. And then I did also decide to put my um, vacuum in here as well, just because I wanted to have it like out of the way. And then here are the hooks, which look super nice. Um, so I have Riley's side, her book bag, and then um, behind it is her learning bag for school. And then on the side, it's just both of my um, purses. So here is the next section that I need to declutter and organize. How annoying has it been? Anytime I share a cleaning video where I'm cleaning my bedroom, this is always a hot mess. But a lot of this stuff is like hair stuff, extra, you know, like toothbrushes. And I really don't have any more space underneath, um, any more space in the bathroom to store it. I can buy another one of those storage bins. So I'll probably end up doing that and I'll be able to take um, some of this stuff out of there. But for now, since we have all of that extra room, I'm thinking about storing, you know, any of like my facial kind of stuff, steamer, hair stuff, and keeping that all neat and organized underneath there just because when we're doing hair, we're typically in the living room area. And then this should, for the most part, clear up this space. I did also wanna show you guys, I finally hung my vision board. I absolutely love it here when I'm laying in bed or anytime I walk into the room, this is a focal point, which I absolutely love. And it's crucial when you're trying to envision things into your life so i finally at least got that up off the um dresser but now it's time to tackle all of this you better turn up you better be there when i shake watch me rocking if i can't stop if i should fall just go ahead 
I don't know if I was more excited about the cabinets or to finally be able to tackle this mess that has been sitting on my dresser for the longest. And because I was able to put all of my laundry products into the cabinets as well as the towels, it freed up two extra bins. So now I'm gonna be putting all of our hair products and all of that stuff to be stored away in the living room. All right, so usually when I am cleaning, I do like to listen to something in the background. So I will either have some of my favorite cleaning YouTubers on the TV or on my phone, just listening to music, cleaning along with them. So many of you guys also clean along with me and that is how I stay motivated. But another thing I have really been into lately and I'm like bringing it back a little bit is listening to podcasts. So today I am actually listening to Ali Reeves podcast. Um, I will see if I can link it down below. It's a really good one. I've listened to it before like a year or so ago um, and it's just talking about um, like reprogramming your mind and how to like kind of like manifest things into your life and like I'm all into all of that kind of stuff so I'm gonna be listening to this it's a little over an hour long while I tackle all of this um, because it just like makes me feel more productive when I've been listening to podcasts so I'm like trying to do things that I enjoy doing and then and that make me happy so this is one of them um i will see if i can link it down below you guys definitely check it out if you're into that kind of thing or just like self-development self-growth all of that stuff i am really 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 on that kick lately so yeah but let me stop rambling let me stop procrastinating and tackle and get to all of these toys Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is young Don't need anybody else Organizing is always a big 
task and trying to organize toys takes it to another level. So the first thing I'm doing is taking everything out of the bins and as much stuff off of the shelf as possible. And I'm going through seeing what I want to throw away. I'm making a pile. I will show you guys what I'm getting rid of. And also trying to make groups of things. Can you guys tell I've been watching the home edit on Netflix, but trying to group like-minded things together so then I can put everything back into the bins neatly organized and I have an idea as to what is going to be in which bin.
finally finished and this is everything that I am throwing away. A lot of it is just like small little like knickknacks, things she has like no idea or even there, stuff that she doesn't really play with like that. So it's time to let it go. I'm going to see if I can fit it into those two small bags here. But let me do a quick kind of like overview of what the space is looking like. And it honestly didn't even take me as long as I thought. So that's pretty good. So in here, we're actually reusing it. So I had bought a craft for Riley and it had all this stuff in here. So I figured I would repurpose this and put all of her like craft stuff in it. You know, stuff that has paint or anything like that. So in case it does happen to, you know, um, spill or anything like that, it's in this container right here. And we can basically take this entire container, go into the dining area and be able to... Um, do our crafts and stuff so we have all of that this is all of her kind of like jewelry sunglasses all of that kind of stuff um so i have it right here so if she ever wants to grab for it i already have her humidifier um nick had gotten her this cute rose for valentine's day i have some of her you know like stuff for sleep and some vicks if she's sick all of her hair ties and then her um sound machine down on the first shelf these are going to be like all of her like games, all of that kind of stuff. We are now into Legos. So I bought this container from Ikea and then all of these Legos come inside for Ikea as well. Over here is going to be stuff for her um, tea set. We like to have tea time around here, guys. I actually don't know what happened to the other small cup, so I'll have to look for that. And then over here is basically just her wipes and her lotion. Um, I could probably put it up at the top at some point and then use this for something else. But for now, this is just going to work. In here, we were able to get rid of a lot of stuff. So this is basically going to be all things like coloring, drawing, all of that stuff. I did just put all of her extra um, like pencil cases, small little purses because she does like to put her crayons and all that kind of stuff in there. So I have that in here. This is going to always be the biggest bin because this is where all of her like Barbies, LOL dolls, all of that kind of stuff is in here. So this like really there's no way to like organize this besides just putting it in a bin. So I'm going to keep that there. Then we have this one where it's going to have all of her like slime, play-doh, all of that kind of stuff hidden away. And then on this side I have all of my like yarn, anything for like kind of like crafting, but um, not really, I guess. I put in this bin right here. And then this last bin is going to be anything like learning. So all of her like workbooks, stuff we bring back from, stuff she brings home from school, like all of that you stuff. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need. Ain't gonna lie. I know what I want. Speak in my mind. So 